Mushroom peeps, it's Cory. Today I'm going to show you real quick how to make turkey tail tincture um, water extraction. I'm not doing the alcohol extraction. Here I have a big bowl of fresh turkey tail. I rinsed it. Um, I'm not going to dry it before I do the tincture because I believe that the fresher the better. Uh, I'm going to take some vegetable scissors and cut these into little pieces. The smaller the better. You can use the ground up turkey tail, which I actually have over here. And it's a lot like, kind of like a cottony. Here, I'll show you. It's very fluffy and cottony. Um, this would be good to use in a tincture, but the thing is you can't really strain it so it's a clear liquid so it'll be pretty foggy and it's there's small pieces in there that'll get through so it won't be a hundred percent liquid it will have chunks I have this strainer which is what I'm going to use I have my water getting ready to boil on the stove here and once I clip up the turkey tails you know as small as you can get them I can't do it one-handed obviously but um, just take pieces and trim them up. Actually this doesn't work too bad. Um, of course you want like this piece really really small. So trim it up to probably about I don't know as small as you can get it. Just little little tiny like that. That would be good right there. Um, the smaller the better because the more surface area well less surface area I should say. But um, the more extraction you'll get the polysaccharides which is um, anti-cancer chemical and also immune booster so that's what I'm going to do here because Samantha absolutely hates the ground turkey tail in her tea it's chunky it's got a weird texture so I'm making a tincture so I can add it to her tea right now she has a cold and she refuses to take the powder so um, yeah I'm gonna trim these up I'm gonna throw them in the boiling water I'm gonna cover them and I'm gonna let them boil um, for about an hour if I can you know if the water will last that long I'll add water as needed um, what else I then you know when you after about an hour or so take it off the heat and let it cool completely it's best to let it cool just overnight and let the turkey tails steep longer which is good and it's probably what I'm gonna do and then I will strain the liquid into a jar and I'll probably just end up drying and grinding what's left if I don't do an alcohol tincture, which I'm not sure I'm going to do, but maybe I will. So that's that. I hope it's helpful. I know it's not a whole lot of detail, but I can't do much with one hand. <laughs> so um, I will talk to you guys soon, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it's helpful. Thanks. Bye.